Welcome to the Unreal Engine 5 Locomotion System course. In this course, we are going to build a fully functional advanced locomotion system completely from scratch. If you are creating AAA quality third person shooter or an adventure game, having a solid locomotion system is essential. So in this course, I'll teach you how to design a reusable and extensible locomotion framework that can easily adapt to your game's unique requirements. We will begin by creating our project in Unreal Engine 5 and migrating our starter content to it. All the required content are provided within the course, no external assets needed. Next, we will create and configure our character blueprint as a foundation for our setup. We will then use Unreal Engine's enhanced input system to handle player input and implement basic controls so the character can freely traverse through the level. In the next section, we will create an animation blueprint to bring our character to life. We will set up a state machine to handle animation transitions based on character states. Then we will build a dedicated actor component to manage all locomotion features for our characters. Our entire locomotion framework will be data driven, allowing easy feature extensions without modifying core code. Finally. We will use event dispatches to efficiently track locomotion state changes and trigger animation transitions. We will enhance our animation blueprint by adding idle breaks for more realism. Then implement cardinal direction based movement cycles using four directional animations. Next, I'll introduce orientation warping to correctly align the character's feet to any movement direction. Finally, we will implement turn in place animations to make rotations smoother and more realistic when strafing. We will explore movement variations such as walking, jogging and crouching and ensure they transition smoothly within our locomotion system. Then we will add sprinting, jumping and stance transitions like idle to crouch and crouch to idle. Next section, we will dive into additive animations covering jump land recovery, additive leans and aim offsets to make our character feel truly responsive. We will enhance our cardinal animations with starts, stops and pivots for more natural motion. We will also introduce wall detection heuristics and stride warping to dynamically adjust foot placement based on speed. Then we will explore distance matching, a powerful technique to synchronize animation play rate with the movement distance. Next, we will cover rotation modes including strafing and forward facing movement. We will also add forward facing start animations for smoother transitions. We will learn animation overrides, blend modes and montages to modify or layer animations dynamically at runtime. We will integrate weapons to showcase how the locomotion system adapts to gameplay. We will design a simple UI to visualize equipped weapons and implement melee weapons such as unarmed and sword and then firearm weapons including pistol and rifle mechanics. Next, we will develop a custom player camera manager using a data driven approach to support multiple camera types and transitions. We will implement sprint camera transitions as well as dynamic aim cameras for melee and firearm weapons including iron sight aim. We'll introduce an actor profile system as a supporting subsystem for our locomotion system. This includes health bars, hit reaction effects and directional death effects using ragdoll physics for realistic damage responses. Then we will focus on NPC AI behaviors using AI controllers, behavior trees, and blackboards. We'll implement some AI behaviors such as 
roaming dynamic attacks to showcase the NPC behaviors. Finally, we'll optimize NPC spawning, despawning, and ground sensing for efficient gameplay. We'll move on to inverse kinematics, also known as IK, using control rig and our own custom implementations. You will learn foot IK placements for ground motions and hand IK adjustments driven by animation curves. In the final section, we will integrate MetaHumans with our locomotion system to demonstrate its full capabilities in a triple A quality context. Also, you will be able to migrate this entire system into your own projects quickly and effectively. I hope you are excited to join this course. We will cover everything you need to build a production ready AAA quality locomotion system from the ground up. Even if you are new to Unreal Engine, don't worry, everything is explained step by step. All course content, support channels and guidelines are provided within this course. So let's begin your journey and happy learning.